Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitja here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. This is going to be a love reading. For those of you connecting with somebody on a romantic level, or wanting to connect with someone romantically, I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of this person for you currently. Now, uh, time is fluid, and this is meant to be for the early days of October to mid-October 2020. So keep in mind time's fluid, so it may not resonate for everyone at that particular time. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everyone. So we have here Order. I'm using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Maraschinski. Okay, quite a few here. All right, you have here order and then you have centering followed by change. Not the right ones. There you go. <laughs> Beliefs. Relationship. After relationship, you have awakening. Embracing the shadow. Pleasure. You actually have one more. Energy. Yeah, I can put this back. Oh, hold on. All right. Yeah, you guys can see that. All right. And under the bottom of the deck, you have inspiration. So I'm going to just repeat these cards. There's order. Centering, change, beliefs, relationship, awakening, embracing the shadow, pleasure, energy, and inspiration under the bottom of the deck. All right, guys. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. My dear Capricorn, things are so chaotic right now. There's so much chaos. There's so many gray, thick clouds that are around me and I'm unable to focus or to find a spot, a pathway, a route where I can make this journey. I don't know where to go, what to do, I don't know where I should be headed. Because I am surrounded by thick gray clouds. I turn left, right, forwards, backwards. I cannot find a way out of this situation that I found myself in. So I stay still in one spot because if I make a move, it might be the wrong move. I find that being in this connection with you, I feel very centered. I feel you are that person that balances things out for me. You are my other half, my better half. Spiritually, I feel as though we are connected. You have some way of balancing this connection. I need things to change. There are too many differences, external influences that keep 
coming into this connection and things need to change. I understand that you and I are not on the same page. We were not born and brought up the same way. And so yes, we do have differences. My beliefs are very different than your beliefs. We butt heads. We sometimes don't think alike. We're sometimes not on the same page. But still, Capricorn, I want a relationship with you. I have thought over many moons, many nights of being in a loving connection with you. I have thought about it a lot. And I've come to the realization that there is a different part of me that really does desire you, no matter what. I don't care if our beliefs are different. I don't care if we don't think the same. I realize and I accept, I admit that I have made you feel very uncomfortable in this entire situation. I have done things and said things and have not done the things that I should have. This has made you feel very uncomfortable in this connection. And I equally feel uncomfortable now too. There is so much pleasure that I feel when I'm in this connection. It's very loving. It's very fruitful, very friendly. But I do admire your body. There may be a little pleasure that I really like. And I like being with you intimately. I like thinking about you intimately. I do feel as if there is a spiritual connection between the both of us. You have this way of energizing me, making me feel alive again, young again, beautiful. It's electric. All of my energy centers come to life when I'm in your company. Even the thought of you. And you make me see the world in such a different way now. I am so inspired. There's so much inspiration. Things smell different. They feel different. They sound different. They look different. My perspective has changed and you are that person who has made me see this other side. I'm not the same as I used to be. There's things that I've gone through in this connection with you and it's changed me to a better person. But for now, I, I don't know what to do, where to go, what move to make. I don't want to make the wrong move. I don't want to screw things up. So I'm not going to make any move and change in any way right now. All right, Capricorn. Very interesting. This person's kind of stubborn. <laughs> stubborn in a good way, actually. No matter what's happening, this person truly, uh, truly does have very sweet, intense feelings for you. They definitely have a very sp a strong spiritual connection with you. They feel this. Very interesting. All right, guys. What I'm going to look at now is let's have a look at any actions or intentions that this person has towards you.
I'm using the Beginner's Tarot deck. Okay. <laughs> uh, stubborn is the word. <laughs> It's, it's kind of a good stubborn. They don't want to let you go. They really don't want to let you go. And they don't want to let go of the type of emotion that they have, the type of connection that they have with you. They can't bear the thought of it, of letting go. Whatever their belief is, because they, they do have certain beliefs, they are holding very steadfast or quite strong in that particular method of thinking that they have but in addition to that they don't want to let you go either which is exactly what I had said oh my goodness guys these cards could have been better but uh, don't worry we still have a few more to do now we have here the Queen of Pentacles so yes this person does feel first of all they want to give you a solid offer. They do want to give you a solid offer. They want a relationship with you. We already established that in the first set and that's fine. They also find that you have a lot of potential. You have the ability to have prosperity and growth. You are very nurturing, caring, protecting even. Knight of Swords, they're going to be realizing soon that they're going to lose you if they don't make a move. They're going to want to make a move. And come into your life sweep you off your feet why because ten of swords they feel as though they've had enough they don't want to deal with this thing anymore they also feel as though they've been backstabbed Capricorn for a lot of you I'm getting the sense that there has been some external influences when we have the change card which you had in this area before the change card has a lot of whirlwinds a lot of twirls for me it indicates external influences. Now, with this card, Five of Wands, it actually does feel to me as though you have some people who are jealous, you have some people who are gossiping, people who are influencing this individual. Certain decisions that this person has made has been based on what other people are saying, what based on what he or she has heard. But on the other hand, it's his or her own thinking. There has been and there, there may be some conflicts between you as well, but this is because of external influences. Otherwise, this person genuinely from the bottom of their heart, they do want to be in a nice long-term committed relationship with you. But it seems that there are certain things. Ah, I get it. Yes. So, okay. Since this person has this way of belief, there's people in this person's society that believe like this individual, and so you don't think like them, which is why they are consulting, and even if they don't want to consult, people just poke their noses where they don't belong sometimes. They are being told by other people that, no, 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 you can't be with a person like this. He or she doesn't think like we do. They don't believe in this. Why would you do that? She doesn't even think like that. Like, there's these weird scenarios that could pop up. But over time, Capricorn, it does build up in a person's mind. It creates an impression of an individual. And it seems that there are some external influences here. To the point where decisions have been made. And the connection has had to suffer because of it. Holy smokes, this is like very particular, guys. This is this is not going to resonate for everybody. I can tell you that. It's a very particular message for just a handful of these. All right, this is the Lover's Path Tarot deck. I'm going to have a look at what's one of the main issues. What do we have? What's something that's really... <laughs> sacrifice. Okay. And then we have the Four of Arrows. Okay. 
sacrifice and the four of arrows. There you go. All right. So I'm going to look up sacrifice first. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. What did I say, people? Let me read it, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Being caught between worlds. Your world, where it's all lovey-dovey, and I love you, and I want you. And the other world, where they are coming from, and where it's like, no, you do things this way, and you do things this way, and this is how it's done. This is how it's going to be. This person truly is, damn it, caught between two freaking worlds. It's upsetting. Sorry. It is really upsetting. They don't know what to do because they're trying to please one side of the connection that they have with either family and friends. And they're trying to maintain a balance with you as well. But that's not working out. So yes, this definitely is a message for a few of you where um, there is some influences here but this person Capricorn they do care about you and they are caught between these worlds because between two worlds because they feel a sense of responsibility if they did not they wouldn't be caught they'd be free they do whatever they want it's the fact that this person has such a belief system this is why everything is happening I do feel this is so targeted to some of you and let me know in the comments below because um, of your stories because this definitely is a very unique situation here um, so yeah being caught between worlds this person is trying to gain compassion from gaining experience from difficult situations See, he or she's trying to understand where you're coming from. Because they're only thinking from one angle. Now, what this person at this time is having an issue with, feeling unable to make the sacrifice that a situation requires. They are creating difficulties for oneself. So feeling unable to sacrifice the other side of the situation so the other people so this person can't let go of the other side that's dominating him or her because of the customs because of the beliefs that they have they're not able to let go of that in order to make you happy this is a problem now I don't know if some of you know this or not but this is what's going on they're not able to make that sacrifice. They can't sacrifice their family, their loved ones, their traditions in order to make this come true. Believe me, that is very common in many cultures. It's heartbreaking, but it happens. Four of arrows. Okay. The four, there you go, healing, okay. The four of arrows does talk about healing, introspection, and putting oneself in isolation. This person's realizing that they need time to heal and time to rest. They want to detach themselves from everyday world problems in order to regain balance. You see, the balance is exactly that, being caught between two worlds, not knowing how to balance things. They're forcing themselves into isolation, into loneliness. They need a more detached view of problems. That's kind of a good thing. But the problem is, if you keep yourself isolated, you will not be able to see a different side of the story because you're not inspired enough. What this person needs to do is go out with other people that have different perspectives and then learn from that. Being by yourself is not going to give you a detached point of view about something because you don't have a reference. This person's only either with the people that they're with 
or they're not able to make that sacrifice or they're with you. They need to have someone in between who is literally non-biased and show them, hey, this is what the world is like. This is what this is like. Make your bloody decision. Oh man, this is tough. Ah, <sighs> Guys, this was very deep. This is a very deep reading. Wow. Okay, now let's proceed further. I have here Doreen Virtues, Archangel Answer Cards. I'm just going to do a quick prayer on the cards here. All right. Wow. All right. You have here, the situation will improve. Very nice. Abundance. Unlikely. Take action. Big happy changes. In the near future. Opportunity. Under the bottom of the deck you have here you are ready all right so it seems like there's a few um, a few messages here actually not just a one-liner so what's happening here is these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael Raphael and Gabriel now what they're telling you is in the near future there is going to be big happy changes for you that is for sure you're going to receive an opportunity you're going to receive abundance in love and romance the situation is going to improve so you can literally just understand that this situation that you're dealing with with this person it's going to get better okay it's unlikely though that they're going to do anything about it are they going to do anything about it? No. It seems here that you are going to have to be that person that's going to take action and you are ready right from day one, right from right now, you are ready to take action to let this person know what your perspective is like. So then they do have a reference point where you're coming from, the things that you're sacrificing. It's not just one-sided. They have to realize this. And once you do tell them, the situation will improve and there are going to be big happy changes. Just be careful when you talk to this person. Don't talk down to the person. Tell them you understand where they're coming from with respect and tolerance. We have to be like that when we're from other cultures or different backgrounds. Yes, we understand that. But... This is where I'm coming from. And then you try to find that middle ground. Try to find it. Because it does seem to me that this person is still very overwhelmed and they're not going to be able to make a decision. You're going to have to be that person that takes charge and take action. Take action. All right, Capricorns. This was a pretty intense reading. I could feel the energy. There's a lot of tension between two individuals and it's not because of the individuals themselves it's actually because of external forces all right guys i hope i was able to clarify a few things for you and provide some guidance let me know in the comments below and once again thank you so much for your support for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and i will see you guys again in mid-october Take care and stay safe. Bye now.